Mm-hmm. And most of the experiences that they had was, uh, and they all admitted it, it was carelessness on their part. I don't mind was careless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, for instance, the one that I put all the all the engines in reverse. <laughs> yeah, we learn. Did you share this experience with others so, so yeah. they can learn from the, somebody the, else's experience, right? The, see, the rule mm-hmm. is one at a time. Uh-huh. Fernando was in a big hurry and he pulled all the... Uh-huh. <laughs> and, oh. the and, then, and, and everything got so quiet in there and I couldn't figure out what the hell to do and I got... I got um, uh, well, something like that happens. You lose your mind, really. That's the irony of it all. You, yeah. you want to do something right away, you know. You yeah. start thinking slowly, you know. And identify it in your mind, you know. Yeah. But you start to... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be fast before yeah. they catch you yeah. up with your, <laughs> your blunder. Yeah. And I, I, I told him that. I told mm-hmm. him, I said, that was very stupid. I, I could have checked it, you know. But, mm-hmm. but the, I was just trying to, to keep from from uh, mi- minimizing the problem. I knew that we had a problem. I wanted to minimize it by moving my, my throttles, uh, my control. Control. Uh, control. Uh-huh. Faster. Uh, throttles, control throttles, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> and just before I left, because of that, I blundered. They went through all right. They, they, they realized that I was telling them the truth, that I, mm-hmm. I just got excited and I should. So they were as- asking you, they were asking you after the flight later, they were asking you, uh, Fernando, what happened? Uh-huh. What did you tell them? <laughs> oh, not on the airplane. They no, on the per- later, later, I mean. later, 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 later. The main thing that, that they said, that I, they'd never seen me afraid, you know, they never thought, saw me scared, not afraid. Uh-huh. they never seen me scared or worried, you know. Uh-huh, yeah. And they, they, they always said, told everybody that they knew that, that, that I had the, the coolest head, you know, so we had runaway drop props, you know, propellers, and, and uh, it's, it's a, a whole bunch of other little things, you know. And, you called runaway, and, and, and runaway props or prop, runaway engines, runaway prop, right? Yes, it's runaway, mm-hmm. but it... Uh, Over the maximum allowed, right, yeah, yeah. by the book. Uh-huh. Yeah. And the crew would always know what happened, but they always, they always said that uh, 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 my being uh, cool, he says they didn't worry about it because, uh-huh. because he said if Fernando was not worried, you know. Uh-huh. But I would talk about what's happening and we, we had a, uh, engines that would blow out uh, um, belts, you know, uh-huh. and stuff like that, you know. And I would uh, try to diagnose the property, the, the problem, you know, and all that uh-huh. sort of, and give them the information that I could, you know. And, and some of them were worried about it, but. Uh, because I was very cool about it, and I was telling them just exactly what it was mm-hmm. and what the problem would possibly uh, build up if we don't if we don't have any control of what we got now, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, removing that lower, uh, drop fuel, drop all the fuel, make it as light as possible mm-hmm. to get back to the base. <clears throat> do you remember? Do you remember, for example, the news that you guys got in Guam that Japan? Got the uh, bomb, bomb with the atomic weapon, or war is over, or something. The the yeah. day or something, what happened? Do you remember something like oh, that? Oh yes. From, uh, what? How, how did you tell me? How did it happen? <coughs> yeah. yeah, I can't even. I can't visualize it. I can just see it's a it's a dream in two, two or three little uh, incidents. Really. Uh-huh. It just didn't happen overnight. And yeah. yeah t- t- Tell me about it. You just well, talk about it. Yeah. <coughs> Whatever you remember, you know, from those... those that, that well, it's, 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 uh, well, one of them was that, uh, that we were having flights for our, our airplanes. Uh, uh, what, what was it? What the heck was it? And... Uh, Anyway, they changed the, the rules f- about something, and I can't really place it, but it was nothing mm-hmm. about the... Uh, uh, well, for one thing was the amount of fuel that you should be 
uh, come back to the base, you know. Mm -hmm. In other words, you shouldn't fly with the, with the, in some cases where we had uh, cases where we were involved in in uh, fighting a uh, a storm, and a few just he, he, we were fighting a, st a storm and and we ran out of fuel way way the hell out of before we had any any uh, any uh, thought that we were going to be running out of fuel. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the, the aircraft commander was pretty concerned about it, mm -hmm. and we did have to find a, a landing spot. Mm -hmm. But we had plenty of fuel in that, mm -hmm. not to make mm -hmm. it, not to fight it. That mm -hmm. was the only one that, and then it was a case of, uh, of uh, <clears throat> we had some engine problems, and so they said that it would be best if we did learn. In other words, the, uh, the pilots, there were so many pilots in that, aboard that aircraft, they, well, decided that the best thing to do was find a place to land and, and give it a good check, and then we'll go from there on in. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. so we, this is this is interesting what we, we we were talking about, but but also this is interesting what we just mentioned about about that. Uh, let's say about being alone or solitude, mm -hmm. and. Um, and uh, you you said something very funny and very interesting that you don't want to you don't want to think about what to what I'm gonna think think about right <laughs> <laughs> you know this is this is very interesting you know we we think automatically about something right and you you don't feel lonely or how you you alone at uh, in room very often sometimes few hours right yeah. Yeah, that's when, interesting. Uh, Tell me what you said. Somebody starts talking to me about that. Uh, don't you get lonesome around that? If they ask me that, I'll say, "Gee, guess uh, come to think of it, I don't know, but I probably am lonesome." Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and probably the time comes that I'm lonesome, but it didn't make any difference when I was at home. I'd get lonesome at home just as much. No. But sometimes you are not lonesome here. You know, if you want, you can go and sit down with other people and, you know. What would you like better to be here and think about what you are? What I you have think? no, I have no, I never think about that. I never uh -huh. think of which is better, which is, uh -huh. and I never think, I have never, uh, never got blue, you know, like people say they have, I got blue, you know. Uh -huh. I, I never got blue. I don't, don't, uh, I don't uh, get, uh, I get uh, lonesome for, 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 when I don't, uh, visit my family for a while, you know, started, especially my mother, if I feel like like I haven't seen, seen her for a while, I just get up on my bicycle and go see her because uh, it, mm -hmm. I, don't, I can't stand to be thinking that, that I'm thinking of my mother and, I can't, and I'm lonesome for her. And I, she's just over here a couple of, hundred, a couple of miles out of here, a couple of hundred miles, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of hundred gallons over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And and I and if, if nothing else, I could even telephone her mm -hmm. and get a, get get uh, caught up on on our uh, on our conversation that we had. And mm -hmm. what, what, how, is there anything that's different in her home? Which her home and her house is uh, is the same. In other words, her her living has always been the same. Mm -hmm. It's always been. Uh, the mother of the family, and, mm -hmm. and she's always had the family, and she's always by herself. <laughs> How many brothers did you have? Do you have four? Four brothers. Four brothers. They all in Bay Area. No. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right here in, in the area over here. Mm -hmm. the, old, mm -hmm. the all the adults are, are there, mm -hmm. and then. Then we got uh, uh, two two school school age boys at her at her home in Tucson. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, he at Gu in Guam. You remember Guam, in, in barracks? Guam. Yeah, in Guam. In Guam. <clears throat> and yeah, and he said, 
We were on a general camp for inspection, yeah. right? Yeah, he, he, he was inspecting our yeah. the base and our, and uh, he uh, he was uh, um, inspecting the and walking around and he took, he it was like our our barracks and all that area was on a hill and then below was uh, an area that was um, various parts of the military and some parts of the of the uh, uh, backup people that, that lived in there to support the the base civilians, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. So he went. He he had a general with him and and two other officers and and they were uh, talking. we our our uh, BOQ of course, where we were staying. The, the soldiers were staying in a little high high part of the of the yeah, island that yeah. we were in, the place that we were in, you know. And uh, they were out there, all in front, and, and he says, uh, what was it, was it, was it, it says, oh, uh, There's some smell, he's, he's, he says, they uh, smell something. Yeah, he's, that's what I said, he says, oh, he says, I think I smell, uh, is there a this? Is there a um, a uh, what do you call it? Where they make wine? Wine. Winery. Is or the or the yeast? The winery. Yeast. Is there a winery. Yeah. And anyway. I smell some yeast. Yeah. And he says, uh, he says, and uh, one of the fermentation. Boys, one of the, yeah, one of the boys that was uh, was uh, sharp, you know, and we were on a hill there. My hit my place where we lived with in the hill. He, he was with us in the hill and we were looking down at this place, you know. And he says, oh yes, we get that, they, we get that, uh, that uh, we have the favor of uh, 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 getting that gentle uh, breeze. Uh, uh, what do I call it? Fame, something that smells anyway. Uh -huh. The fruit was... Uh, uh, the, yeah. Uh, was the tropical that, fruit uh, was uh, yeah, tropical kind of, fruit was uh, fermenting, very, yeah, rotting. That, yeah, but we didn't want to build that, you know. You yeah. want to say <laughs> yeah. so tropical fruit on Gu yeah. Guam was <laughs> fermenting outside, outside, outside rotting uh, that, fruit. That's what it was. It was uh, <laughs> coming with the breeze, with the wind, right? But yeah. this was uh, you were you were guys making yeah. some wine, right, or something from yeah, the fruit. And, and then uh, and then my my. Uh, Older brother says, "Yes, sir." I says, uh, "Oh, you can see that now." He says, "And we're up on top of that hill, and there's this ocean and that area there, and uh, <clears throat> a little rise there." And and he says, uh, "This uh, this uh, um, village over here, they uh, they what the heck did he say that they were doing?" They were make, make cooking something anyway, uh -huh. and he says, "Oh, so that's what it is." I thought it was uh, I thought it was fermentation of, of, of uh, whiskey, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Oh no, no, sir, that's that's a uh, they, there's their little area there. They're they're uh, uh, farmer type. They, they have their own, and now they're they're cooking some something around it." Uh -huh. <laughs> Was, so know. got away with it, you know. You guys may be making some wine or moonshine, moonshine in the barracks, right? <laughs>